In this next stage, we're going to start off by bringing in the original trace that you made of your home. What I like to do is I bring it right up and set it on the overlay track. The reason why I do this is I'm not actually going to export this later. <clears throat> I will actually deselect the overlay track when I go to do my exporting. This is going to be used for setting up all your video tracks for anything that you did not make a mask for. What you need to do is click on the actual video track. This is going to make it easier for when you want to use your actual videos or still images for your show. I select video track. In this case, again, I'm going to start with the center window. Click transform. As you can see, it shows the horizontal and vertical areas where the video is going to project. With Serif, if you hold the control key and then left click on one of the corner points, you can actually see you can transform it into any shape as long as it has four sides that you wish. What I'm going to do is just, while I'm zoomed out, drag them as close to possible to where I want to use them on this particular window. Then you can zoom in. I just zoom in by rolling my mouse wheel. Once you zoomed in, you can fine tune your corner points. Again, hold control key, click and drag on the points. We can grab the hand tool. <clears throat> we can grab the hand tool so we can scroll down to see the bottom. Again, on the video, we're on the video track. If you lose your points, just re-click the video track and that'll bring your points back up. Again, control key, left mouse button, click and hold, and drag them into place. Then what I want to do is I want to rename this. The reason why I'm doing this is, again, just for the sake of ease of making sure I know where my video tracks are and I know where, what they're called. you want to click on the video track, click General, and this is where you can rename it. I'm just going to name this Center Window, click Enter, and now you can see over here it is locked in. You want to take and do this for, again, any area that you're not going to be using a mask. To add video tracks to be able to cover your entire home, you want to right click anywhere on the left side, insert video track, as you can see it brought in another video track. Again, I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to rename it now. This one's going to be my door. Select transform. Again, you have your horizontal and vertical lines. Control key, left click, and we'll start dragging those in. Again, we will zoom in, fine tune it. Either click the hand for the pan tool, or you can hold in on your mouse wheel, and it will automatically go for the hand tool, and you can move it around that way. That way you're not having to click back and forth. Fine tune it, and there we go. And again, you want to do this as many times as you need to get everything lined up for using just basic video shapes, just transforming your basic video. You really don't want to do this with each and every video that you're going to drag on your video track. 
Reason for this is you can save this file. What I do is I save it as a placement template. This way I can use it over and over again just changing out the videos. If you change each and every individual video, you have to do it every single time.